Hello and welcome to the Tridolite Crystal Machine Event Guide. Machine events are in-game content that require a promoted dwarf present to activate. They can appear randomly in any normal mission and there are four unique types. Today we'll be going over the Tridolite Crystal. Now the wiki's information on this event is pretty light, however that's okay because it's one of the more simple ones. All it consists of is the crystal itself and a nanite bomb dispenser that will drop in at a random location nearby. Identically to all other machine events, you must be promoted on at least one Dwarven class to begin. You do not have to be playing your promoted class to start it, however. Any non-promoted Dwarves present can participate in the event. However, as they do not have access to blank cores, all they will receive is a credit and XP bonus at the end of the mission. As machine events are very involved, I would advise you to resupply if you haven't extremely recently. To actually begin the event, insert the four batteries on the laser terminals around the crystal. Sometimes these may be buried in a wall, but they are always in a square fashion around it so you can see where they are. Upon inserting the fourth battery, a beacon will appear indicating where the nanite bomb dispenser will land. It will be a pink beacon and beep, similar to a resupply pod. Upon the dispenser landing, the event will fully start. You have 180 seconds to destroy the crystal using the bombs that the dispenser provides. Each bomb is on a short cooldown, so I advise you to pull them out quickly to start that cooldown. Carrying bombs functions similar as every other heavy object in the game. You are unable to use your weapons, and you can hold left click to charge your throw. And finally, the health of the crystal does scale with difficulty and player count. For example, solo on Hazard 5, it took me 9 bombs to destroy it. Upon destroying the crystal, and clearing out any lingering enemies of course, you'll have the opportunity to infuse a blank matrix core. This will provide you an actual selective choice of which class you are receiving the reward for. For example, in this instance I am able to choose between engineer, driller, or gunner cosmetic, as opposed to other sources of overclocks in the game which give you no choice at all. And here's an example of what the actual overclocks look like in this menu, as opposed to the cosmetics. And once you receive your reward, it will appear on your screen, indicating what you actually received. And that's the process for a Tritolite Crystal. However, this event does tend to be more fickle in its difficulty than all the others. That meaning, if the barrel of dispenser spawns high above you, you may have difficulty reaching it. Or, if it spawns at the bottom of a pit, Without a driller, you may be unable to extract the barrels with any level of ease in the time allowed. For example, in this case, the barrel dispenser spawns atop a sandy arch. Had I not been a scout, it may have been incredibly difficult to reach. Thankfully, this is also the easiest machine event to solo, even in a full team, as if you can reach the barrel dispenser in an advantageous position, you can rain death upon the crystal with no issues at all. Once you have your infused matrix cores, you can return to the space rig and craft them into either the overclocks or matrix cosmetics that you've earned. So, that's all I have for you today. The Omen Modular Exterminator will be next, working on that now, turning out to be a much more difficult task than I expected. But, 
should be out within the next day. Thank you for watching, and have a good one.